Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to be discussing the GFG Weekly Coding Contest 122. So after a long point of time, I'm doing live stream. Like, like the setup was not really ready for a home live stream because now at this point of time, I am kind of focused towards the offline batches of Geeks for Geeks. So let's start off with. the contest feedback so if you ask me this contest was a treat why because in this contest there were four question not just three so a balanced level was maintained the third problem was a little bit unbeatable if you are a beginner or a little bit of intermediate and the first problem was very easy the second problem yes it was kind of easy to guess the third problem had a unique idea but kind of it is a repetition like if you have a solve count of more than 500 or 700 you would be able to see a pattern in this this is a common pattern and the last one is kind of my favorite one now let's start off with the very first one that is the naughty geek itself mm, okay so just a sec let me just have my unfair so as told 9 seconds so 9 seconds people would take to read the problem okay fair enough let's start off mm -hmm. yep it's done so how many problems were you able to solve where is the editorial of the contest question i am the living editorial the human being and the documentation <laughs> okay let's start off four out of four great man okay so see and just go through the first problem okay so this is very interesting like like the problem statement is kind of fun to read but i would just tell you what the question is asking it is asking that he has like let's say i have 3 days and i have 3 girlfriends so in how many ways i can meet all of them okay in how many ways i can meet all of them okay so i don't really require this i think i am good to go with just the explanation so i would just tell you this this is kind of easy to guess idea mm -hmm. yep sharing the screen and then moving forward with this okay so now see one thing to notice here is that let's say here are 3 days and this is my three girlfriend this is my first day this is my second day this is my third day this is my first girlfriend this is my second girlfriend this is my third girlfriend talking about this let's not have this let's say this is me and these are the list of the girlfriends i have so now see on the very first day what i can do is i can meet this one i can meet the first girlfriend or i can meet the second girlfriend or i can meet the third girlfriend fair enough so i can have three options for the first day. then what i can really do is i have same thing 1 2 and 3 so this is okay so this is not really this let's say okay let me explain you this so let's say i met this girl met my second girlfriend met my first girlfriend or met my last girlfriend so when i come on the second day the number of girlfriends left to me is not 3 but 2 how said that because on the day one i need to meet at least one of them okay 
so in the day two how many options do i really have i have two options i have two options to do it so i would say two so i would say i have two options in the second day i would meet any girl and then in the last day i only have one option that to that is to meet this girl so i have one so this is what is the value that is nothing but 6 this is why the answer is 6 so if a value n is given what i really want is i want n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 and that would be dot 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 till the value of n so this is nothing but i need the value of n factorial so i just need to calculate the factorial of it so now let us move to the implementation and implement factorial i hope i made sense so i don't think i really need to wait i can just code it live itself or else should i show you the code is the code enough like showing the code enough or do i really need to type anything just quickly reply or else while you type i think we can just move forward with just by writing it also so what i really need to do is i would say long long int answer is equal to 1 1 fine enough and then what we would do is for int i is equals to 1 i is less than equal to the value n and i plus plus and i plus plus at this point answer multiplied by equal to i and then we would simply return the answer let us just compile and run see how many errors are we really making seems correct done so quickly tell me if the intuition for this is clear to you or not so i would just need to copy paste this solution generate url aur ye hua okay done सो so, ये थोड़ा इजी सा ही था तो जल्दी मूव कर सकते हैं क्योंकि और तीन प्रॉब्लम है लास्ट वाले को थोड़ा ज्यादा टाइम देंगे एज सेड लाइक मेनी पीपल वुड बी न्यू लाइक मेनी पीपल वुड बी सीइंग माय फेस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सो व्हाट आई रियली डू इज आई फोकस अ हेल लॉट ऑन द इंट्यूशन सो वेन यू सी अ सेम प्रॉब्लम लाइक दिस नेक्स्ट टाइम हाउ वुड यू टैकल दिस this is this would be my aim, main aim itself okay fair enough let's move forward i think we are pretty good to move forward now we are at the second one okay just give me a quick one in the chat if this is good enough for for loop i should also be long long just for the safety of overflow no not really because the numbers are till how much just let me see the numbers are so the numbers are just till 80 okay so n value would be just till 80 so we don't really need to do it okay fair enough let's move to the next one given a string s consisting of lower case character you are replaced to rep all the occurrences of any character with any character in one move find the minimum number of after which you can make the number of distinct character string equal to 1 good so now see what is what would be the intuition a b c and a b c now let us see this done with the screen sharing no by the way the answer is not no the answer is not required but if you are a competitive programmer and you are giving a contest hell lot i would suggest you that you define int as long long int this is a very famous strategy many competitive programmers do use so that you don't really need to fed up your mind 
that should I use long long should I use end should I use should I use long so these things are not required so now let us move forward to the intuition of this the questions ask us that we need to make everything equal and the allowed option is that I can change if I change C all the occurrences of C would be vanished. What I meant to say is Arthad Hindi mein samjha jaye to ye kaha ja raha hai ki bahut sare characters hai. But let's say ye wale C ko agar change kiya jata hai to ye wala C apne aap change ho jayega. Agar aap is C ko A banaoge to dono C A ban jayega. Ye wale B ko agar A banaoge to dono B A ban jayega. So what I can really say is that we don't really need the number of occurrence. What we really need is, I know that I can club this A and A. I can club this B and B. I can club this C and C. Okay. So now I would have A, B, C. Why? Because unique characters, number of unique characters would be the number of operations I require. Because all the values would be changed. Like if I change C, all the occurrences of C would change. So I only want the unique values because the Xerox copies would automatically be adjusted by default. So unique values they liya. Now what I can do is I can convert this B to A. I can convert this C to A. How many operations I would require? I would require two operations because jo pahle se ek present hoga, baaki do ko usi mein convert kar lenge. So what I would do is, what I can really do is if let's say A, B, C, D, E, F what I can do is I can change all of this to just A so that I would require N minus 1. Let's say total number of distinct characters are N and the value would be 1. So the answer is count the number count of distinct count of distinct characters minus 1. Q Q minus 1 minus 1 Q kar rahe hai baki sare ko jo present hai usi pe convert karenge na. Now let's say what I meant to say is minus one. You this this would be a scenario for you. Let's say ABC is there. So there is no point in converting everyone to D. If I convert everyone to some value which is not present, then I would require three operations. But if I convert everything else to one value, then B would be convert then B would be converted, and A would be A would remain as it is. So I would require two operations. So the best op मतलब वो सबसे ऑप्टिमली रहेगा कि जो प्रेजेंट है उस पे चेंज करो ताकि एक तो मेरा ऑपरेशन बच जाए ना अब सबको किसी दूसरे वैल्यू पे चेंज करने जाओगे तो कैसे होगा द मोस्ट कॉमन सिनेरियो इज अगर लेट्स से मुझे घर में खाना है ओके okay, मुझे घर में खाना खाना है तो मैं अगर वो आइटम चूज करूं जो मेरे घर में ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट है तो मेरा एफर्ट तो बच रहे हैं ना तो इन द सेम मैनर ट्रांसलेटिंग द सेम इन इंग्लिश वुड बी if I'm trying to eat something and I'm thinking of something which is already inside the house, I would save that. Let's say what I meant to say is, like let's say what I have is, let's say there is a biryani, there is a pizza and there are some chapatis in the house. Okay. So what I decided was like, it's a biryani, pizza and chapati. So if my friend told me or let's say my girlfriend told me, Siddharth, aisa karte hai, ki every, let's eat the same okay well my girlfriend ne bola ki sab kuch sab ko ek jaisa hi khate hai so if i select something like chole bhature okay if i let's say i if i if everyone wants to eat chole bhature then all the three things would be wasted but if i select one out of this if i select pizza out of this then one effort would be kept like ye effort to mera bach ja raha hai na so that is why we won't select anything other than ABC. We would select one out of them. That is why count of distinct characters minus one. Now the topic of discussion is how would you count the characters? So the optimized way is that we need to use a frequency array of size 26. But as the size is 26, so utna dimag lagana nahi hai. Here the speed matters to us. So we would insert everything in a set because set stores only unique values. So the, 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 so the size of set minus one would be the count of distinct characters minus one. That's it. Now let us move to the implementation.
ओके अब देख लेते हैं थोड़ा कमेंट वमेंट सो ओके 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 हैव मेंशन अप्रोच फॉर थर्ड आल्सो ओके 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 रुक जाओ भाई जा रहे जल्दी जल्दी 47 मिनट्स में दो कंप्लीट कर दिए थर्ड में जाऊंगा योर जीएफ इज सो गुड अंडरस्टैंड कर रही है नहीं माय जीएफ इज जस्ट पुटिंग अप हर डिमांड्स आई एम बीइंग द अंडरस्टैंडिंग गाइस कुछ क्रेडिट मुझे भी जाना चाहिए चलो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड इसे इंप्लीमेंट करते हैं let me just share the screen same characters yep okay now let us insert this what i would really do is set of characters integer would also work because set of characters st then i would use a for each loop over set st dot push st dot push the value e then return st dot size minus 1 now let us see this uh, 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 uh. st dot push set dot insert hota sorry good enough pinging up in the chat just tell, give me a quick one so that i can move forward that this thing is clear to you or not use unordered set it reduces complexity no the worst the worst and complexity of unordered set is big of n not big of one average case is big of one so what is the most optimized most optimized is using arrays of size 26 but the implementation would be two lines more jab aapko solution pata hai mujhe pata hai main unoptimized method bhi pass kar sakta hai so what i would do is main sabse easy solution pe jaunga jiska speed sabse jaldi hoga taki main rank above kar pau yahan this is not an interview where you aim for the most optimized this is a contest where you aim for speed accuracy and timing स्पीड एक्यूरेसी एंड टाइम बहुत इंपॉर्टेंस रखता है वाई वी यूज सेट डी एस ए बिकॉज सेट स्टोर ओनली यूनिक वैल्यूज सो इवन इफ आई कीप ऑल दिन इफ आई कीप टू सिद्धार्थ इन वन सेट ओनली वन सिद्धार्थ वुड बी काउंटेड दैट इज वाई आई जस्ट यूज सेट थैंक यू सो मच इट मीन्स अलॉट बाय द वे दिस इज नॉट माई जॉब माई आई एम फुल टाइम एन एस डी on saturday and sunday i'm meant to do. okay yes this is the solution i was aspiring for this is the proof by ac so the number of characters would be so i'm inserting n characters okay n character n characters so the size of the string is 200 to the power 5 200 to the power 5 multiplied by log 10 to the power 5 because inserting in a set is uh, uh, inserting in a set is log n insertion and retrieval is log n so 200 to the power 5 multiplied by log 200 to the power 5 is less than 10 to the power 8 so we would be getting an ac for this ye badhiya tha okay see this this is very interesting if you just see it on a very good like if you see an eagle view of this this would look hard but trust me this is an easy problem jab bataunga idea the intuition is easy trust me just quickly read the problem sir code in java please love from kolkata dhonnobad अनेक भाल लगलो। ओके, ओके, सो सेम कैरेक्टर्स। व्हाट यू रियली कैन डू इज जस्ट कॉपी दिस अप एंड लाइक यू कैन जस्ट सी लाइक दिस वोंट रियली रिक्वायर द सबमिशन लाइक जावा कोड आई वुड क्विकली एक्सप्लेन यू द जावा कोड लाइक दिस इज द लास्ट कोड ओके See, he is using just hash map. 
he is just pushing all the characters at the end map dot size minus one. Okay, just hashing everything. मुझे गिनना है ना कितना यूनिक कैरेक्टर है ओके दिस इज वेरी गुड ओके इसमें मजा आएगा सच में मजा आएगा थोड़ा दिमाग बढ़ेगा खुलेगा कोड लिंक प्लीज मैंने कोड का लिंक नहीं दिया सॉरी अबाउट दैट ब्रदर जस्ट अ सेक चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं सी I would explain you the intuition of this. Okay, इसमें टेस्ट केस चाहिए नहीं। Okay, हम्म अरे 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 नहीं 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 नहीं। I forgot to share the whole tab. चलो इसमें won't really require the test cases. Test cases are dumb. So there are two things to do. See, जब भी जब भी एंड और नॉट जोर ये सब की बात हो विजुअलाइज इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बिट्स नॉट नंबर ओके वट आई मेंट टू से इज वेन एवर यू सी अ प्रॉब्लम मैंशनिंग एंड और जोर नॉट विजुअलाइज इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बिट्स सो दैट इट वुड सीम ईजी इफ यू ऑब्जर्व इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बेस टेन इट वुड सीम बिजायर यू यू वुड गो बिजायर ओके सो नाउ सी the question is telling me that i can select at max one number i can select at max one value from the array and increment it or decrement it to anything so what it meant is take one value from the array and change it to anything and what the uh, what is the objective of this the objective is that they want to maximize the and of whole array and of whole array yahi chahte hain end result kya hai and okay collective and should be more ek value utha ke kisi pe bhi change kar do yahi cha rahe hain so now see let's observe this गुड एनफ एंड जीरो मीन्स वॉट इट वुड कंट्रीब्यूट so if i have something like this let's say 1 1 0 1 maine kya kaha visualize it in the form of bits so the very first one is 1 2 3 so as say what if you see 1 2 3 like this you won't really understand how we are selecting the elements aise nahi samajhna hai kaise samajhna hai do like this okay aise karna hai bhai mera see the By bit representation of one is this, the bit representation of two is this, the bit representation of three is this. So जहाँ पे खाली है add add and to it. अगर मुझे इसका and ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा चाहिए. So if I want this one, then I need to con if I convert this to one. Then see zero and zero and one, zero and one is equals to zero. Then zero and one would again result to zero. Okay. So if I convert this, if I convert this thing to one, one and one would be one. Again one and one would be one. So it would be one here. Okay. It would be one here. And if I convert this. If I convert this to one, it would be again one. So what is the option? Either I should change, should I change one, or should I change two? This is the question. So how would you decide? C. There is a thing known as least significant bit, most significant bit. C. If I convert this to one, 
तो टू टू दी पावर जीरो कंट्रीब्यूशन आएगा सम में इसको वन किया तो टू टू दी पावर वन कंट्रीब्यूशन आएगा सम में इसको वन किया तो टू टू दी पावर टू कंट्रीब्यूशन आएगा तो जितना ऊपर में वन कर पाओ वो ज्यादा प्रॉफिटेबल होगा ओके वेन एंड ऊपर वाले को मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट कहते हैं नीचे वाले को लीस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट कहते हैं वट आई मेंट टू से I should focus on making the most significant bit as one. Okay, so I ideally I should be changing this, and what would it become? It would become one, one and one and one. It would become one. Then one and zero is equals to zero. Zero and one is also zero. So one zero. And what is the value of one zero? It is two. That is why the output to that is two. इसी से पता चलता है ओके okay, सिद्धार्थ सैंपल टेस्ट केस तो समझ में आ गया इसको सॉल्व कैसे करें इसको सॉल्व कैसे कर सकते हैं सिद्धार्थ ये सब तो बकवास हो गई सॉल्व कैसे करें वो बताओ क्वेश्चन समझ में आ चुका था ओके सो नाउ लेट से वी हैव सम नंबर्स लेट से वी हैव समथिंग लाइक ये सब तो होता ही रहेगा लेट से वी हैव थ्री नंबर्स एंड द बाइनरी रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ऑल दिस इज दिस ओके सर ठीक है अलग से वी ऐड सम मोर दैट इज 1 दिस इज 1100 दिस इज लेट्स से 001 अगर ऐसा आ गया लेट्स से वी हैव दिस वी हैव दिस बिग थिंग ओके सो इफ सो नाउ आई हैव द ऑप्शन टू चेंज ऑप्शन टू चेंज ओनली वन आई हैव द ऑप्शन टू चेंज ओनली वन value out of this i can either change one out of this theek hai ek hi ko change kar sakte at max one so agar let's say if i change this then isko change karke kya sabse optimal rahega to make everything as one if i change the second number on the array so let's let me just see if everything is going okay or not yes it is going okay my screen is visible no backlash or something so now let's say mere paas ye option hai main isko change karu to isko change karke kya aisa karne se mujhe sabse zyada fayda hoga agar main ye sara value ko 1 pe convert kar dun agar ye sara values jaake 1 pe convert ho jaye it would be the most beneficial why because 1 would won't disrupt the value see zero is disrupting everything why because let's say all of this value is 1 but this zero would make the collective and of this one as zero agar ye one ho jaye to acha hai either if this one is nowhere this is there so we should focus on removing zero zero is a enemy in and why because dekho zero ek bar bhi aa jata hai to wo zero hi reh jata hai so if i want to change any any particular number वो सबको वन कर देना चाहिए इफ आई वांट टू चेंज दिस सो आई वुड जस्ट फोकस ऑन मेकिंग ऑल दिस एज वन सो नाउ आई कैन चेंज ओनली वन सो इंस्टेड ऑफ फोकसिंग ऑन व्हाट वुड बी द आइडियल इंडेक्स टू चेंज व्हाट आई कैन रियली डू अस मैं ऐसा कुछ कर सकता हूं आई वुड चेंज ऑल आई वुड चेंज द फर्स्ट नंबर आई वुड चेंज द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट मेक एवरीथिंग एज वन and then do the and of it or i would do all of this as one and then do the and of this and this i can change all the values of this one and i can do the and of this and this i can change all the values of this and i can do the and of this and this why because ye one hai so ye disrupt nahi karega So, मैं यहाँ पे सबको वन में चेंज करके देख सकता हूँ ओके okay? अगर वो वन हो जाएगा तो वो आंसर को डिसरप नहीं करेगा मतलब उसको आप इग्नोर करके चल सकते हो सो ना वट वी वुड डू इज वी वुड ट्राई टू इग्नोर द फर्स्ट इंडेक्स वी वुड ट्राई टू इग्नोर द फर्स्ट इंडेक्स ओके सो देर इज नो नाइक फर्स्ट इंडेक्स इफ आई वॉन्ट टू इग्नोर दिस इज जीरो इंडेक्स दिस इज फर्स्ट इंडेक्स दिस इज सेकेंड इंडेक्स दिस इज थर्ड दिस इज फोर्थ दिस इज फिफ्थ Okay, so if I want to ignore the zeroth index, I would require the and value from from S 
of 1 till the last. If I want to ignore the first one, if I want to ignore the second index, I would require s of 0. I would require the AND value of s of 0 with AND value of 2 to 5. AND value of 2 to 5. ओके मतलब मैं एक को इग्नोर ही कर दूंगा क्यों क्योंकि मैं सबको वन बना दूंगा तो आंसर को खराब नहीं करेगा जीरो आंसर खराब करता है सो आई कैन जस्ट इग्नोर दैट एंड आई कैन हैव द सम फ्रॉम दैट डू आई मेक सेंस यहां से मुझे इंट्यूशन आया अब मुझे इतना तो पता चल गया मुझे सम ब्लॉक ब्लॉक का चाहिए मतलब यहां से लास्ट से यहां लास्ट से यहां लास्ट से यहां ऐसे चाहिए व्हाट आई कैन रियली डू इज आई कैन डू समथिंग लाइक I can calculate the prefix and of everything. Okay, what do I meant by prefix and? Prefix and of kya hota? Let's say this is the prefix and this is the suffix and. Okay, dekhte hain. Mm -hmm. Ha. Let's say this is the prefix value. This is the suffix value. Or suffix value ko is taraf likhte hain. See, prefix value ko is taraf likhenge. See, one, one, so I would just remove everything. Now let's say the values are like this. Okay. So this is zero eighth index. This is the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Ab main kya karu na? Prefix or suffix lunga. Prefix matlab is taraf se, suffix matlab piche taraf se. What I would do is, I would just copy value of the first index. क्यों क्योंकि पहला वाला का एक एलिमेंट का एंड तो वही रहेगा ना वो खुद रहेगा द एंड ऑफ द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इज इट सेल्फ सो एंड ऑफ वन एंड वन इज वन वन एंड वन इज ऑल्सो वन वन एंड वन इज ऑल्सो वन वन एंड जीरो इज जीरो वन एंड जीरो इज जीरो वन एंड जीरो इज जीरो डन दिस इज हाउ आई वुड डू इट अब लेट एस सी For the suffix, कैसे suffix हुआ अब suffix करते हैं. Suffix में we would have the and from the back. Suffix मतलब क्या? And from the back. Prefix मतलब and from the front. Let's take any bright color. So from the back, one as it is आ जाएगा. One and zero is zero. Zero and one is zero. Zero and one zero. जीरो एंड वन जीरो जीरो एंड वन जीरो अब हाउ विल बी फाइंड द एंड ऑफ इट सो नाउ सी द वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू इग्नोर द फर्स्ट इंडेक्स देन आई वुड हैव पी ऑफ जीरो एंड एस ऑफ हाउ मच एस ऑफ टू क्योंकि यहां पर ही एस ऑफ टू का एंड लिखा हुआ है तो पी ऑफ जीरो कितना है वन वन एंड जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो अप टिल नाउ द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ आंसर इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन इफ आई वांट टू इग्नोर द सेकंड इंडेक्स आई वुड हैव द एंड फ्रॉम दिस टू दिस व्हिच इज स्टोर्ड हियर एंड द एंड ऑफ दिस टू दिस व्हिच इज स्टोर्ड हियर तो वन एंड जीरो इज अगेन जीरो If I want to ignore the third character, I would have the and from the zero to two that is stored here, and five to four that is stored here. One and zero is again zero. If I want to have the and of four, I would have the sum from zero to three that is one, and then five that is one. See, one and one is equals to one. ये वाला ध्यान से देखो. The sum of if I ignore the fourth, if I want to ignore If I want to ignore the fourth index, see the sum and of every one is one. This is how we are doing it. Now, Siddharth, we are done with one to four. ये वाला तो देख लिया. What is the scenario with zero and five? So zero and five is nothing. But what we would do is we would say that p of p of how much? P of n minus one. Max of p of n minus one. Comma. P of S of one, 
एंड ये वाला अलग से संभाल लो हेयर वी आर सिलेक्टिंग द लास्ट वन हेयर वी आर सिलेक्टिंग द फर्स्ट वन एंड दैट वुड बी डन सो प्रेफिक्स सफिक्स एंड करो बीच से उस एलिमेंट को हटा ही दो फिर देखो बाकी सब कैसे है दिस इज द आइडिया Let me explain you the intuition again. We found out that a he value one value zero is disrupting us. So I can I the best idea is so let's just sum up everything. So I found out that when I wrote in terms of bits, I found out that if I make all the bits at one as as one, it would be the most beneficial. Now I can change each I can every time I can change one index to everything as one. So first, I would try to make everything as one on the first index, everything as one on the second index, everything as one on the third index. How we do it? Okay, so that we don't really need to go and do and again and again. We can keep all the values calculated till that point by using just like prefix sum, just like prefix sum and suffix sum. We would just do that, and that is enough. Now, is this thing clear to you or not? Just give me a quick heads up. this was very important now give me a quick heads up if this thing is clear to you or not just give me a quick one in the chat please explain the contribution of each in terms of in terms of power of 2 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 How will we be able to select? एक बार हिंदी में बता दो ठीक देखो मैं बता ठीक है आराम से समझते हैं ठीक है देखना ध्यान से बस सोचो ठीक है मैं बता रहा हूं देखो एंड में सारे वैल्यूज वन होगा तभी एंड रिजल्ट वन होगा एंड में सारे वैल्यूज वन होगा तभी एंड रिजल्ट वन होगा ठीक है अब यहां पर बोला जा रहा है कि मैं एक एलिमेंट को ही चेंज कर सकता हूं तो अगर वो उस एक एलिमेंट को चेंज करना रहे तो उस एक एलिमेंट को किस में चेंज करूं जिसके सारे बिट सेट हो सारे बिट सेट मतलब सारे वैल्यूज वन हो क्यों क्योंकि एंड में वन बहुत जरूरी है ठीक है अब ठीक है किस में चेंज करना वो तो पता चल गया जिसमें सारा वन हो ठीक है जिसमें सारा वन हो बट अब सिद्धार्थ ये बताओ कौन सा इंडेक्स चेंज करो तब ये करना चाह रहे हैं कि अब देखो मुझे तो पता नहीं है कौन सा इंडेक्स चेंज करना तो मैं ये करूंगा कि सारे इंडेक्स को चेंज करने का ट्राई करूंगा वो कैसे सिद्धार्थ वो ऐसे कि मैं फर्स्ट इंडेक्स को सबको अगर वन बना दू तो एंड वुड बी वॉट सो पूरा का एंड क्या होगा अगर मैं सिर्फ फर्स्ट इंडेक्स को एंड बना दू तो अगर वो वन है तो वो प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट नहीं करेगा सो so, मुझे बस टू से लेके लास्ट तक का एंड चाहिए फिर मैं अगर सेकंड को एंड सेकंड का सारा वैल्यूज वन बना दूं, तो मुझे इस तरफ का इस तरफ का लेट्स से सेकंड वाला इस तरफ है तो इस तरफ का एंड और इस तरफ का एंड इसको छोड़ दो क्यों क्योंकि ये सारा वैल्यूज वन है ये प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट नहीं करने वाला है ओके वी हैव दिस थिंग इन बेंगोली दैट बोरोन वुड आइदर क्योर द कॉज और इट वोट क्रिएट एन इश्यू ओके वी हैव अ थिंग इन बेंगाली ओके मैंने बोरोन मैक्स टू मैक्स किचु खराब कर बेना भालो कोडी ही जावे बा किचु ही कर बेना सो इन द सेम मैनर इफ एवरीथिंग अगर सारा वैल्यूज वन हो गया है तो वो कुछ प्रॉब्लम तो क्रिएट नहीं करेगा क्यों क्योंकि वन एंड वन एंड वन तो वन ही रहेगा और वन एंड वन भी वन ही रहेगा तो उस वन वाला सारा चीज को इग्नोर कर दो ना अगर वो जीरो होता तो वो आंसर को डिस्टरप्ट करता बट अगर वो वन हो अच्छा आदमी बन चुका है तो वो क्लास डिस्टर्ब नहीं करेगा वो जैसा है वैसा ही रहेगा ट्रांसलेटिंग द सेम इन इंग्लिश फॉर एवरी वन जस्ट समिंग इट आउट सी वी फाउंड आउट दैट वी कैन चेंज ओके ओके सो ट्रांसलेटिंग द सेम इन इंग्लिश वुड बी सो जस्ट अ क्विक हेड्स अप लूसिफर I'm your teacher, and this is how you talk to it. Talk to your teacher. मैं जितना भी मजाक करूँ, at the end I'm educating you. So you are abusing the person who is educating you. So this is not the culture you have been taught. 
because the first teacher educator of you is your father and mother so uske baad school teachers uske baad main hu so kindly keep up the legacy jaise parents ko respect karte waise mujhe bhi respect to karo kam se kam hansi mazak apne jagah hai gali galoj apne jagah hai using slang languages on a teacher is not what is expected from a person who is educating okay okay so now let's just sum, sum up everything in english <laughs> yeah please don't abuse me mujhe abuse sunne se bahut ajeeb lagta hai kyunki mere papa mummy khud teacher hai please don't abuse in the stream because i really have a problem with this because my own father and mother are teacher and kind of i am also following that trend okay I'm an SD full time, but on side, but I'm also a teacher. So kind of I have like if you are abusing me, I kind of have that you are abusing my whole family, my whole family profession kind of. So don't abuse. I kind of lose my time. Like, मुझे like I kind of lose the flow. Okay, ऐसे मत करना, please. बहुत अजीब लगता है और पूरा अलग हो जाता है. ठीक है? अच्छा नहीं लगता है. एकदम बिल्कुल नहीं. Ignore करना अपने जगह. मैं इस ढाई साल तीन साल के करियर ऑनलाइन यूट्यूब करियर के बाद भी इग्नोर नहीं कर पाता लगता है तीन साल सबके साथ अच्छा बन के रहने के बाद भी अगर आपको गाली सुनने मिले तो इट्स फील्स वेरी बैड बहुत ही अजीब लगता है इट्स वेरी इजी टू सेट ऑन द अदर साइड ऑफ द स्ट्रीम एंड अब यूज एनी एडुकेटर आउट देर ओके यू डोंट रियली नो माई मेंटल स्टेट टूडे इज अ संडे एंड दिस इज अ टाइम ऑफ लॉन्ग वीकेंड I should have been sitting on Manali and enjoying my life to the fullest. I'm already doing my as an as I'm also already an SD at Gisori. As a being that I'm low on jobs, but this is just my passion for which I'm staying in my room and like su- Sunday night I'm teaching you. So this is not because of money. Money ko bhul jao. I'm doing two jobs. I'm a SD and a mentor and laga hua. So please, ऐसे मत करना. लगता अच्छा करके भी कुछ मिल नहीं रहा बहुत अजीब सा लगता ओके सो चलो हटते हैं जस्ट सर ओके सो नाउ सी सो थिंग इज वी सो ओके वी सो दैट देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स एंड वी कैन चेंज एनी वैल्यू टू एनीथिंग ओके सो दैट द and what is our objective our objective is to maximize the value of and how, and if uh, and value would be optimized by how and value would be optimized by having more number of ones because one and one is one but one and zero is zero so mujhe agar value zyada karna hai to one and one hi rakhna hoga mujhe one rakhne mein focus karna hoga i should focus on having one so now yes it is fine so now i i have an idea that i would change any of the index to everything as one in their whole number in the bit representation good enough but which index to do it so i would try on each index how sadhan we would have the sum from 0th point to that point and this point to this point okay this is what i would do just a quick revision kind of thing okay so now see just understand this like see this is zero and this is 111111 this would contribute to one but one and zero would make it zero and zero and one would make it zero so you can see that how one zero can disrupt the answer अगर मैं इसको भी वन बना दू सो एंड ऑफ एवरीथिंग वुड बी वन इट सेल्फ दिस इज वेरी फ्रूटफुल टू अस ओके सो व्हाट आई वांट टू डू इज आई वुड सो इफ आई वांट टू इग्नोर लाइक इसको अगर मैं चेंज करना चाहूं लाइक इफ आई वांट टू मेक दिस इंडेक्स एज वन व्हाट आई वुड डू इज आई वुड हैव द एंड फ्रॉम जीरो टिल द वैल्यू ऑफ थ्री विच इज एंड इट इज स्टोर्ड हेयर यहां तक का एंड इस पी में स्टोर्ड है ना और यहां तक का एंड इसमें स्टोर्ड है सो एंड ऑफ दिस एंड दिस वुड मेक इट वन बिकॉज ये वाला कंट्रीब्यूट नहीं करेगा क्योंकि ये वन बन चुका है 
make sense so we would just build up a prefix sum and suffix sum and that is it so if you are not able to understand even at this point just like just go through it once again after this and then it would make more sense mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now at this point, vector of int of L of n and R of n. Okay, that is from left to prefix wala left to this left to right jayega or wo wala right to left jayega. Okay, so now if we are moving from the left, the first element was copied now on the prefix one. Let's just make it prefix and this is suffix. On the prefix one, I just showed you that the first value would be copied. Prefix uh, that the and of one element is that itself. So p of zero is equal to a of zero. And then we would start off from the second element. For int i is equal to one, i is less than n and i plus plus. Okay. Then you have l of i is equal to which one? Wo yade? Wo teda line mana ya? This one with that one. This one with that one, that is p of i minus one with a of i. P of i minus this one with this one is equals to this one. Ye wala kya tha? P of i. Ye wala kya tha? A p of i minus one tha. Ye wala p of a of i tha. A of i yaha tha. P of i yeh tha. So it is nothing but l of i minus one. Okay, sorry, this is not l. P of i is equals to p of i minus one. And with a of i, ये हो गया. Same would be the case for the suffix sum. The last element would be copied, and that would be what? That would be what? A of i plus one with a of i. Okay. So now I would say r of n minus one is equals to a of n minus one. And then we would start off with the second last index. Last index is done. Second last index is what? N minus two. Okay. I is greater than equal to zero, okay, and I minus minus, okay. R of I is equal to R of I plus one and A of I. Okay. So now, if we consider only the first element, like let's just like let's initialize an answer. Let's just initialize an answer at this point, and let's have it, okay, and then. For int, we would start from the second element to the second last element. For int i is equals to one, i is less than n minus one, and i plus plus. So answer is equals to max of answer comma l to i minus one. So let's say this is the element we are ignoring. So we would have the and till this point. Who would tell me the and from this to this? This is prefix, prefix of i minus one. Okay, this would be suffix, suffix. Okay, suffix of i minus one, and last till let's say I'm ignoring this element. Last till I want the sum till this. Who would tell me the sum till this? Suffix of i plus one. Suffix of i plus one. Okay, and if I consider the first, if I ignore this first element, I need the and till this point. Who would tell me the and till this point? A uh, suffix of one. So max of suffix of one. Suffix of one, and Prefix of n minus two. Okay, this is done, and then just return the value of the answer. Now let us just compile and then see how many errors are we making. Like this is a good question, but kind of this idea is repeated. If you have a very high solve count, you would see that this idea is kind of repeated. 
so where is the id copy and just quickly tell me yes this is the idea give me a test case to dry run give me a test case to dry run can we do it in any other idea yes you can do it any other idea but i found this as the most intuitive i found this guruji three apne aap se ho gaye the fourth nahi hua okay i would do the fourth one okay valentine thanks a lot what is equivalent to vector in java array list is equivalent why ignoring the first and last done sir third question jaisa koi aur hai gfg par mm, i don't really remember them but there was a thing like this we are using big o of n space can we optimize it mm, yes we can optimize it by a concept known as running sum okay like we don't really require the array we can just have two variables to have the sum at each point we can do that 1458 let's do it One four five eight. This goes for you. One four five eight. Whenever you see a test case like this, one. This is one four five eight. Okay. So let's have the bit representation of it. That is one four would be. One zero zero five would be one zero one eight would be one zero zero zero, and this would be something like this. Okay, so now what I want is I want and till the value of one. Okay, and till the value of one. That would be just one. Why? Because zero 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 one is just one. Then and okay and with the value till the uh, one and four is how much? Zero and zero 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 and one is zero is zero zero and zero 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 and zero zero. So this and till this point is zero. Okay. Then zero and five. Is how much zero, zero and eight is how much zero again. Let's have the sum. So from the back eight would be there. Now if I have the and of eight and five, if I have the and of eight and five, it would be again zero. Okay, eight. Like let me just have it. Eight and. Okay, this zero and four is again zero. Four zero and one is again zero. Okay, so now if I want to ignore the first one, then I would have the and till this point that is zero. So up till now the answer is equals to zero. Up till now the answer is equals to zero. If I edit the next one, I would do this and of this and this, which is again zero. If I edit this one, I would have the and of this and this, which is again zero. If I edit this one, I would have the and till this point that is zero. So the answer would be zero for this. Okay. the maximum and i can have is zero this was not a good test case 
Okay, I won't really. I can't really. Is there any in Geeks for Geeks? Okay, there is no article in Geeks for Geeks. But just open up this. I can't really open up all these links in a sharing platform because I might fall into issue of copyrights and all. Okay, so just see this. This is how you can. Okay, what are the requirements for SD intern? Okay, special strings. This is a good enough question. Like, this is a kind of not really a very difficult question. We'll just quickly read it, and then we would move forward. In this question, find the number of special strings of length n, which is lexicographically greater than n. What is a special string? A special string, which is SS. Special string is what? SS. What is an SS, which is greater than S? What are the requirements for SS? It is greater than S. And the next requirement is more than two size should not be, should not be palindrome. Okay. Take it. Greater than S and should not be a palindrome. Okay. Z Y T. Let's see that. Z Y T. Let's write me. Z Y T. And what are the probable answers we have? Z Y U. Z Y V. Z Y W. And Z Y X. Good enough. Chalo. Read this. Let's move forward. We can solve it all possible pairs. Uh, we can solve it all possible pairs of elements in a vector and get the and value between them. Is the type of minimum and value and which answer Z. Yes, good enough. Are you the problem settler of this problem? Absolutely not. Sir, are you Bengali? Have yeah, I am a Bengali? Ki kora jaye bol. <laughs> Chalo, let's move forward with this. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So now we are given a string, and it is told that we need to find the count of special strings. And what makes a string special? It should be lexicographically, it should be lexicographically more than the given value of the string. Lexicographically more होना चाहिए. What is lexicographically more? A B C is lexicographically greater than A B B. A B D is lexicographically more than A B. S I C D is lexicographically greater than S I C C D is lexicographically greater than S I B or A I D. It is lexicographically more. Done. The very next thing is not a length of more than two should be a palindrome. What is a palindrome? Which reads the same as backward and frontward, like A B A A B A A B A A B A C D C 
same backward and frontward. Okay. Okay. So I need to count the number of special character, special strings. So what I really need to do is I need to find all the strings. Okay. So the most brute force approach is that find all permutations. Find okay, find all strings. Find all the strings, then narrow it down by selecting strings, select greater than s. And the last step is select the strings which don't have a palindrome greater than or equal to 2. Okay, these are the three conditions. The very next one is like this is the very first step. The very next step is how we really can do it. Okay. So see, Z, like if I want to keep anything else on the first instance, like this is Z, Y, T, this is Z, Y, T. If I want to keep anything other than Z, lexicographically greater than S. Okay. So if I want to keep anything greater than Z, nothing exists. So if I want to keep anything greater than Y, what I can keep is, I can keep like Z, Y ke baad kya hoga? Z, Z. But this is not permeable. This is not correct. I can't do it. Why? Why I can't do it? Because this one has this one has a palindrome greater than or equal to the size of 2. Okay. That is why I can't move forward with that. Now, in place of T, what all values I can keep? A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. Then I can keep U. Z, Y, U. Because that should be greater. I can keep U. I can keep V. I can keep I can keep W okay Z Y W W can I keep okay W can I keep anything else? Can I keep anything else? Yep, I can keep instead of T I can keep X. X is also done. Can I keep more than X? After x is y, but I can't keep y. Z y y. It is a palindrome. Y y is a palindrome of length two. That is why this is not a correct one. Then I can keep something like z y z. This is also a palindrome. So this can't also be kept. Okay, this can't also be kept. If you draw out this test case like this, so this is why the result of this is nothing but 4. How 4? Counting this, counting this, counting this, counting this. These all are invalid. That is why the answer to this is 4. Any backlashes or I'm able, I didn't share my screen. Let me just see. No. Okay, this is not a solution. Good enough. Now, let's say, let's say, if you just draw out this, you would kind of get an idea. The idea is that we can draw out by what? Like on the first index, if the value is, let's say, A. Then I can keep B, I can keep C, I can keep D, I can keep E, I can keep F. Okay, just let me clear this up. Let's say the value given is B, C, D. So if I already have, let's say this is B and here I already have D. 
so if i keep here a if i keep here b if i keep here c if i keep here d i can keep here anything and that would be all this values all this b d a then b d b and then b d c and then b d d all these values are let's you graphically greater than b c d okay so is say one observation is agar pehle hi koi value greater aa gaya hai to hame aage chinta karne ki zarurat nahi hai if already if we already have a character greater then don't worry about greater don't worry about greater we need to only worry about greater if until this value like if i have c b b c c here then i can only keep values greater than d that is e or d e f g h i can only have these all values and these all values would only be greater than only be greater than b c d this is the first observation i have so i need to take care of this the very next observation is when i am having a palindrome i am having a palindrome when the current character and the previous character are same and i am having a palindrome the current character and previous character same and when this character and this character are same that is pre more than previous is same before previous is same this and this is same these are the two ways i can have a palindrome okay i can have a palindrome in these two scenarios so what i really need to do is i need someone to tell me that if i already have greater or not i need a variable like this so already have greater or not the answer would be just yes or no so i would say that i would simply have a boolean and i would name it as greater okay and the values can be either 0 or 1 okay then i would just have it recursively then i would have someone to tell me this the very next one is i want the access of the previous index also why to just check if the current value i am trying to put up like if i am having z if there is z previously then i won't keep z again so i would just check if the previous value and the current value are not same or not so i need the access of previous so i need the previous character so previous character can be a b c d or anything dot 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 till the value of z so i would say the previous character would be of size 26 now what are the other things i have the other things i have is nothing but this one that is at which index we are trying to put up the value so we would design a recursion like this okay we would design a recursion with the current index i am working this is the current index i am working this is the previous character and the last one is nothing but a boolean which would tell me दैट पहले ही कोई वैल्यू ग्रेटर हो चुका होगा तो ए बी सी डी सब रखने बैठ जाएंगे अगर नहीं ग्रेटर हुआ तो सी पॉइंट से रखना शुरू करेंगे सो नाउ आई वुड से दैट एट इंडेक्स आई इफ वी ऑलरेडी हैव ग्रेटर लाइक इफ ग्रेटर इज इक्वल्स टू ट्रू अगर ग्रेटर पहले ही आ चुका है वट इज ग्रेटर वट इज दिस थिंग ये दिस इज नथिंग बट दिस इफ आई ऑलरेडी हैव लेट से डी If let's say the string was a b, and now we can keep here anything a b c d. If I already have a greater, then this would be true. So what I would do is I would start the string from a till the value of z. If it is not true, if it is not true, then I would have a character of last, and I would start from that point, that a of i till the z. 
like let's say the current value is c so i would go from c till the value of z okay at at each index we would just try to keep a b c d e f g h if we already have encountered greater or else if we have didn't encounter greater like this if we didn't encounter greater if we didn't encounter greater then we can only keep values greater than or equal to if we have already encountered greater that if it is if this thing is d then we can keep here a b c d e f anything you can do any this would be the recursion let's recur let's first re implement the recursive solution and then we would talk about anything else okay because mujhe sare characters rakh rakh ke dekhne honge what would be the most beneficial so let's just write the recursive solution to it means all the characters should be different no not really like the first character can be s and the sixth character can be s again so we don't really need to have anything Mm -hmm. like we would just try to keep at each index So now I would just name it as leg. Okay. The answer would be let's say in long run. Okay. And I would name it as rec. And we would just talk about the index we are standing at. And then we would talk about the last value and the second last. Okay. Last and the second last. Why last and second last? Because if the current value is a and second last value was a, then a a and here it is b or c. Then it is a parent row. that is why we need the access of second and second last because there can be bb or aba both can be there there are, there can be two scenarios either it can be there can be two scenarios either it can be aa or it can be aba that is why we have to access the second last also to do this and to do this that is why we have the access of the second last okay after this thing is done we would have if it is greater than or not great or more or large let's say large not greater so much okay now we would say at this point that answer is equals to answer is equals to zero now first we would find the current character current character is equals to what s of i minus a that is we would find the ascii value if it is a we would have zero if it is b we would have one we would find the ascii value of the current character okay we would have the ascii value if we have already encountered like pehle hi it was what like the pehle hi if we have something like b c d if we already have b then let's say b so we can keep here anything from a till the value of z okay so if we have already encountered large then we would make current is equals to zero what is current is equals to zero that we can start from a else we would start from the current character only if this value is let's say c then these all values can't have b why because bcb is less bca is less we need to start from bcc is also less we need to start from d or e or f or g that is why only the condition is that only when we have the large one then only we would start then we would start on the current value current value se sab rakh rakh ke dekhenge okay sab kuch rakh rakh ke dekhenge for int j is equals to current j is less than 26 and j plus plus after this if j is equal to equal to last if j dono condition if j is equals to equals to last or j is equals to equals to second last what do i meant by this ye bhi bata deta hu j is equals to equals to last matlab kya if last character was b and the current character is also b 
when this is not possible if the second last character is let's say b and again we are trying to have b then this is also a palindrome bzb is also a palindrome and bb is also a palindrome we are handling this bb and bzb if we have something like this then we would simply continue okay that is to ignore this position else else we would say answer plus equals to rec of i plus 1 and the current character we have used is j so this would become the last character the current character would become the last character that is j okay ab yahi last character ban gaya jo character we have used this is the and the last character would become the second last character now okay and the value of large would remain the same the value of large is nothing but a boolean variable like mm -hmm. like large or big greater than current okay anything would be solving the purpose like agar the current character is more if the current character is more we would make large as one if the current character is if the current character is less we would keep the large at it because one or zero is also one on zero or one is one So if the large was zero up till this point, we would have one at this point. Okay. Uh, your code is giving. Who is the girl here? Who is the girl here? Okay, fair enough. So let's move forward. Okay, some more is there. Okay, so then at this point we would just return the value of answer, and we would start off with what? Okay, we would say long long because it is inserting long long answer is equals to rec of zero, and last character is last character is what? The last character is let's say z. and the second character is also z and the we don't have anything greater up till now so it would be zero am i clear with this small syntax or not am i clear with this small idea or not like this small idea just this small am i clear with this just recursion no dp or nothing then i would show you how to optimize this J ग्रेटर धन करेंट ये थोड़ा सा ट्रिकी पार्ट है इसको थोड़ा सिंपल कर सकते हैं कर देते हैं ओके सो वट आई कैन से इज दैट बुल लाइक दिस इज नथिंग बट लाइक लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू दिस सी अगर लार्ज अभी तक लाइक इफ वी लार्ज अभी तक जीरो आया था मतलब अभी ये लार्ज नहीं था मतलब वी डोंट हैव एनी वैल्यू एनी स्ट्रिंग्स एनी वैल्यूज ग्रेटर देन दिस and now we have the current value greater than the last value so one or one would make it one so agar pehle se large nahi tha abhi large mil gaya to usko large bana denge agar pehle large agar pehle large tha abhi fir se maine large rakh diya to bhi wo chup chap large hi rahega so this is what we are doing we are just doing this okay and the pehle se agar one hai तो पहले से अगर लेट से जीरो है जीरो और जीरो पहले से भी लार्ज नहीं था अभी भी लार्ज नहीं है तो दिस वुड रिमेन एंड लार्ज पहले से अगर लार्ज नहीं था अभी लार्ज बना दिया तो दिस वुड बिकम लार्ज दीज आर दिस इज वाई वी आर डूइंग इट बेसिकली होता ही है बेसिकली वट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस इज दैट इफ अंटिल दिस पॉइंट वी डेंट हैव एनी लार्ज एंड वी हैव अ लार्ज एट दिस पॉइंट this would be converted to this variable would become one if till this point we didn't have large now also it is not large it would remain as it is so basically this is just playing with bitwise 
this is just a per, like if you are a person who is very good with bitwise this would become evident otherwise this would be a little bit difficult to understand so what you the work around can be this that you can just say that if current j is greater than current then make a boolean okay is equals to true and just pass this as okay else okay is equals to false else okay is equals to false this is good like just this and this is good yep or else initialize bull okay is equals to false and remove this and just pass okay this is good enough like remove the or condition ab bata now is this cool enough is this cool why okay can i explain why 26 and 26 and last and second last okay last and second last because 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 when we would start from a the last character won't be a so we are not starting from a so we are starting from z main z se a tak jaunga so i'm just keeping any value which can never be the last or second last this is the objective If j is greater than if j is greater than i, just make it as this. Done. Now, this is a solution which would give you a time limit exceeder. So we now need to optimize this. How to optimize this? See, what is the range of i? Okay, let's write this. I can go from zero till the value of n minus one. I can go till the value zero till the value of n minus one. Last character can be what? Last character, last character can be what? A till the value of z. Second last क्या हो सकता है? Second last can be also a till the value of z. Observe all the parameters. I में क्या क्या हो सकता है? Zero से लेके n minus one तक जा सकता है. Let's initialize the base case at this point. If we have reached the end, return the value of large. Okay. What is the value of large? The value of large is a boolean, so it can be either zero or one. So now there are four variables that are dynamic. So we require an array of size of Four dimension, four D array से नहीं डरना है. There is nothing like four D array or something. वो सोचना ही नहीं है. जितने number of values that are changing, write the range of the values that are there, and then just observe it. See what is the value of i that can be the max. The value of i that can be the max is what? So I would just initialize long long. Okay, I would just initialize long long dp. Okay, I would like let me just make it outside this. See, did I leave l somewhere else? Okay, don't really know. Okay. So the first i. Let's think about i. In the worst scenario, the size of the string is hundred. So I would just take hundred and one for same size. Last can be any character from a to z. A to z is twenty six. So we would write twenty six. Second last is what? A to z. So twenty six. And then large can be what? Zero or one. So we would take an array of size two. Four D array, two D array, three D array. There is abhi ke liye sochna for your mind. Never think that this is 4D array or some. There is 4D DP. I can't do it. Don't think in that scenario. Solve it in recursion. Observe the number of parameters that are dynamic. See the range of the parameters like this, and then declare an array or a map or a data structure accordingly. I saw that zero value can range from zero till the value of n minus one. So what is the maximum value of n? N value is hundred. So I just took hundred and one. 
the value of last can be from a to z so at max the number of values can be 26 so i write 26 second last a to z 26 row 26 last can be 0 or 1 so i took an array of size 2 this is how you declare an array ye sikhna hai 4d array 5d array alag se kuch concept nahi hai 4d array 5d array 6d array everything is same don't think of something else ek hi tarah ka cheez hai just treat it that this is dp what i can do after this see we would just save the result just save the result why because recursion does repetitive task we don't want it to do repetitive task let's say i went in the first year of my college i saw a girl named as nikita i found her interesting i talked with her then i found out that her traits and my traits doesn't match then i thought okay i should see someone else then again i forgot that i really had talked to nikita and then again i started talking to nikita then again i had a time waste because again i had to find out that she is not of my type if i had remembered that nikita is not of my type then next time i shouldn't have tried on nikita shouldn't try to have friendship with nikita so we need to remember a lot recursion is that person who does the same repetitive thing again and again so we need to write it somewhere how would we write it so we would write it here okay we would say long long Pass by reference answer is equal to dp of i dash last just check here last dash second last dash large okay and then we would say if the agar ye pehle dekh chuke if this is the person i have already seen then don't do anything just return from this point if answer is not equal to minus 1 return the answer else start with the computation else start with the computation and then it is done just as these two line three three lines and this is done so there are not even three lines just add this two lines and this is memorization recursion may observe the parameters observe the range of it define an array accordingly then write two lines of it and this is dynamic programming 4D, 5D आरे से क्या फर्क पड़ गया क्या ही फर्क पड़ता है 4D, 5D से कुछ खास फर्क तो आता नहीं है ओके नाउ वी नीड टू इनिशियलाइज एवरीथिंग विद माइनस वन दैट इज वट आई सो वट आई वुड डू इज आई वुड से आई वुड हैव हेयर स्ट्रिंग एस लाइक आई वोट रियली पास एनीथिंग लाइक आई वुड हैव एनीथिंग इन द ग्लोबल स्टेप एंड देन एंड एन okay i would have anything and then i would say n is equals to capital n and then s is equals to capital s then make sense after this long long answer and then return answer okay and then we would should do a mem set here M E M M set D P of minus one comma size of D. This is nothing but initializing all the value of the D P array to minus one. What is this? Making making all the value of D P array as minus one. Just this. This is done. Let's just see how many mistakes I am doing, and then let's try to. Okay, so still I am doing a mistake. What? The answer can be very large. Compute it modulo ten to the power nine plus seven. Okay. So where I am really adding anything? I would just do here. Answer modulo equal to mod. What is the value of mod? Ten to the power nine plus seven. const int mod is equals to 1.9 plus seven or long long is less let's take long long is okay. oh, long long is good enough so let's take long long now I'll just compile and see how many errors are we making 
seems like I will be making a lot of errors. Okay. Your code output is one 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 long long int dp is equals to one zero seven. Okay, this would be twenty. So let's just take twenty seven one more and string s and okay done 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 done. If i is equals to one, return large l long long answer dp of i dash last or second last large. If answer is not equal to minus one, return answer answer is equals to zero. If it is large, current will become zero or else. Into j j is less than twenty six j plus plus. If j is equal to equal to last or j is equal to equal second last, we continue from that. Okay. Then answer plus equals to i plus one j last. And then okay. If j is greater than current, pass okay as one. And then answer modulo this answer is equal to one. Then it is something like zero. I think this one is making all the issues. Or and i is equal to zero. I is less than the value. And and i plus plus. And let's have it for and. J is equal to zero. J is less than equal to the size twenty six and J plus plus. And then for in K is equal to zero. K is less than the value twenty six and K plus plus. And then the last that is for in I J K L L is equal to zero. L is less than two and L plus plus. And then we will say dp of i j a l is equal to minus one. And then we should call it, and this should be good enough. Where I'm making a mistake? Can anyone spot the mistake? J is okay. Should be. Large. Why this time in competition where four task winner was run? What competition time in competition where four task winner was run? <laughs> Maybe I don't really understand. Okay. If J is greater than current. Then current would become okay. Else it would remain greater. Okay. Okay. It should okay. It should become large. Uh, I'll say no. It should become large. Okay, so I just edited it, and the default value was zero. So what was really happening is, I would just tell you the mistake what I did. So see, what happened was, if the earlier large value was already one, and at this point I'm making it zero, and now zero is getting passed. Finally, I have greater mil chuka hai. Then again, I'm passing one. Again, I'm making it zero. I just had to make it large. This small mistake over here. Okay, fair enough. So I would pass on this. Just remember. So this is my small suggestion to you. Write the recursion. Okay. Write the recursion. Observe the range of the parameters. Just remember it. We are not setting values in the DP array. No, it is already set. Why? Because it is passed by reference. Sorry, I, I. Read that message, but I didn't answer it because I was busy debugging in my mind. This is passed by reference, so this would be already. If I just keep anything to the answer, it would be already kept to the DP array also, because this is not. This is not a. This, here I am not 
having a copy here i'm having pass by reference i'm having this okay that is why it is not required anything else yep monty thanks a lot this is not the magic of cpp it is a magic initially not zero yes monty thanks a lot you are very good man uh, hello bro kya aisa banda hai jo hacking ki do baat kar liya kare mere se actually mera mann hai ki agar koi dost saath hoga to sikhne ka aur mann karega hmm. it might be a scenario is third problem why the answer is max of 1 it is because it is because s max of s of 1 is what ignoring the first character ignoring the character first character we have s of 1 that is suffix of 1 piche se leke sabka but ignoring the one and that one sabka ignoring the last that is why it is p of i n minus 2 that is just ignoring the first and the last character anyone else who is not able to understand so many a times i see youtubers segregating dp question is into 4d 2d 1d 3d or what not but what i suggest is solve any problem in dp using recursion observe the number of dynamic variables see the range of it declare an data structure accordingly write this three lines and you are done ओके, सो डीपी है डीपी है फोर डी है फाइव डी है मंडर भाई फोर डी फाइव डी एवरीथिंग इज सेम दिस इज जस्ट सिंपल रिकर्शन सेविंग द रिजल्ट ऑफ रिकर्शन इज नोन एज डीपी वॉट इज सो कॉल्ड फोर डी फाइव डी इफ इट वॉज ऑल्सो वन डी ऑल्सो देन ऑल्सो आई नीड टू हैव टू मेक दिस ऑब्जर्वेशन ओके सो दैट सेट फॉर टूडे दिस इज मी शाउटिंग ऑन द टॉप ऑफ माई बॉयस अलोन इन रूम ऑन अ संडे इवनिंग for more than 1.5 hours and at this point i'm exhausted a hell lot and i need to take rest that's it for my side if you have any concern or queries you can ask me in the next one minute else i would just turn off the stream after sharing the okay this is done okay so that's it from my side if you have any concern or queries feel free to just ask it in the comment section but it might be a scenario that due to my busy life i'm not able to see it consider asking the same doubt on linkedin if i have time i would reply you but if you just comment it on the video like just rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 i would be able to see the feedback and my video the youtube algorithm would push up this video and this work would be justified that's it for my side thank you so much good night everyone so if you like this stream kindly comment and like on the video so the reach of this video could be increased and this work could be just a fact goodbye everyone by the way kind of happy weekend tomorrow too because most of you would have like tomorrow is a national holiday so after a long period of time after 15th august tomorrow i would be not working for the entire day okay that's it for today that's it for today thank you everyone good night